October 30th, 2016. And you're staring at the guy who's going to win the Cummington Kentucky Center NPC bodybuilding show. You're looking at first place. You're looking at a man that's willing to die to get first. You're looking at a man that is obsessed with getting first. You're looking at a man who has a plan. But if something just doesn't go my way and I don't get first, in reality, in my mind, everywhere I go, I'm first. Everywhere I go, I'm first. Because I have that mentality that nobody, nobody, has went through and done the things and been in the shoes that I have walked, ran, and performed in. And anyone who put in my shoes couldn't survive a minute. I say that with the utmost confidence because I've done things that the most average person couldn't even think of doing. Because... If they if that if it came to them that obstacle came to them they'd look at it as it's impossible to do or oh I'll just do it some other time oh well this is in my way so I'll just find an easy way no if an obstacle is in my way I freaking burst through it I destroy that obstacle I run right through it. And if it kills me in the process, then I'd rather die trying, going to my grave willing, knowing that I died trying, going after to achieve my goals and dreams in life. I've almost died a few times. And this is the honest truth. Over the summer, preparing myself for this competition, I've almost died a few times. Uh... You know, I felt like my heart was going to explode. I felt like, you know, I, I pushed myself to limits to where I want to, I want myself to be limitless and I am limitless because I have no limits. I will keep going and keep going and keep going. And if I reach a limit to where I can't seem to get past that, then I will die trying to get past it. Plain and simple. Either it's from running to the gym and back or it's running on the treadmill or it's doing this many reps, or pushing this hard, or running this hard, or pulling this hard, or whatever the case might be, I will die trying to achieve anything that I put my mind to, and nothing, I repeat, nothing is impossible to me. The word impossible is impossible for me to think that it's possible for that word to exist. Say that five times fast. So I'm here at my lair, LA Fitness. I just came back from Crunch Fitness. Uh, went there, got a tan. Um, well, more tan, I should say. Man, it really it burns you up. It's a pretty decent. I mean, for an October day, it's pretty decently warm here in Ohio. Um, but I've been covering up, as you can see, sweatshirt. Sweatpants, I don't, I rarely even take this sweatshirt off, ever. I go and go and go. I've been a man obsessed. I've been, I've lost my mind. I've literally went crazy for this preparation for this competition. I've done everything in the book. I've, I've researched thousands of hours on this stuff. And I've been preparing. Half of this year has been for this one day, November 5th. Half of this year, you know, I'm willing to do everything in my power to get first place, you know, from the best recovery to the best supplements to the best protein to the best ways, the best timing, the best workouts. And right now, in my opinion, the workouts that I'm doing and today I'm doing this, the last, I'm pretty sure the last arm day, the last Arm day, 18 inch, number one wolf, howling, pythons. I call them a uh, howling. Uh, well, I can't think of anything that's cool or 
when I think of good nicknames from arms, I'll, I'll make sure. Uh, I just call them number one wolf uh, arms. So, 18 inch, all right, 18 inch arms. Um, I don't know if they're the size right now, but I'm more focused on the detail and on the striations and, and cutting them up and basically like that. But basically, I'm getting off track. Today is the last arm day. Yes, the last arm day before my competition. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to do cardio and abs. Day after is a rest day. And then, I think Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Because I leave to go to Kentucky on Friday. So, Wednesday be quads. Thursday be chest. And Friday... I may not even work out. I mean, if I do work out, then I'll find a gym up, you know, in Kentucky. But, uh, you know, probably be another rest day for me, you know, because I'm going to be in a place I've never been before. You know, it's going to be a complicated process. It's probably going to cost me a fortune. Will I have the money for it? Hopefully. Uh, but that's, I'm not worried about that. You know, I don't. If something happened, let me just get this out. If something happened to where I couldn't even compete, it will break my heart six months down the drain. But at the same time, a huge barrier will be lifted off because it's like I can finally go back doing to what I truly love. And that's just being the biggest, baddest wolf around, you know, being the big, bad wolf that walks into any place and makes it his own lair and everybody knows it. And everybody knows that he's the best. And everybody knows that he trains harder than the best. And everybody knows that that's a once-in-a-lifetime person. Going back to that training philosophy. Right now, it's like a bucket list goal. Once I do this, check it off and say, no matter what happens, check it off and say, I did it. If I don't get to do it, I got, you know, I got plenty more chances to go after it, you know. To do another competition, but November 5th, if something happens to where I can't compete, I can't do what I love to do to, to be in the competition, something happens, well, hey, it happens, you know, it's not the first time something like that happened to me. Let me give you a little insight. When I did the Power X at the Arnold uh, Classic, I was lucky enough to have someone actually pay my way in because I didn't have the money at the time. And uh, I got second overall in the nation. But, uh, you know, I poured my heart and soul out into that competition. I trained so hard for that competition. And, um, you know, those politics involved, I don't want to get into that. But I was lucky enough to even be there because, one, I barely got a ride up to Columbus. Two, I barely even I barely even got in the competition. I qualified for it. And ironically enough, it's like you'd even had to qualify. It was all just for money. You know, it's all a scam, you know, just to get someone's money. Twenty dollars down the drain. And I was in most disappointing part, my buddy, one of my brothers, one of my best friends, he got screwed out going. Because of certain people didn't want to take him, you know. And, well, he got screwed out of it. And he, pound for pound, someone his size lifting the weight that he did, screwing him over. Made me sick to my stomach seeing him not going. Broke my heart. But I barely even made it. Made me kind of sick that, you know, I'm so blessed I had someone pay for me. But, you know, it's just like. I hate when those things happen. I despise when those things happen because you put so much time and effort into something and when it when that day comes, it's like, you know, it's like it doesn't matter, you know. It's really disappointing. It's really, um, I'm trying to think of a word, it's really uh, discouraging. It's really heartbreaking. But I've learned this over this course of this year. I learned as long as you stay positive, and you just smile back, a smarkly smile back at all the negativity and all the bad crap that happens back at you, you'll always win.
because if you can have that that always laugh, that sick humor, that that chuckle saying, huh, you know, nothing can bring you down. Nothing. Now, I'm not going to let it, you know. Sure, six months down the drain if something happens. Sure, a lot of money down the drain. Lots of money. I spent a fortune into this entire process. Um, but I'm not going to let it bring me down. It's in the past. That's in the past. This is now, the future. And I'm always looking on today and in the future. I'm always doing that. I've ne- I never look back in the past. I only look back in the past at things that help me be who I am today, you know, to encourage me, to enlighten me, to, uh, to give me more intelligence, you know, to learn from the past, but I'm not going to let, I'm not going to dwell in the past. I'm not going to let it bring me down. You know, if I don't, if I, something happens, I'm not able to do a competition. That's fine. It's in the past. So now, a new road, a new journey, a new focus. Immediately, I don't, I don't take months, I don't take weeks, I don't take a day, I don't take a second off of another goal. Once I achieve or I'm at a certain goal, and I'm at that, boom, I'm on to the next one. I got another one lined up after another, after another. I'm no, till the day I die, I'll be achieving and going after goals till the day I die, till I go to my grave. I'll be in a nursing home, you know, in a wheelchair trying to get. My goal is to get to the other side of the room. So rolling my way to the other side of the room, that's a goal. You know, I'm never going to stop having goals because I want myself to achieve such a impossible status for someone in my position in life to achieve. You know, and when I say such an impossible status, that means for all the little tiny minds that can't, they can't wrap their own ideology around me achieving certain things because of the position and the ways and the things that has happened in my life and someone in my life achieving something like that and to them it's like it's impossible to well to me i want to prove that not only is it possible but it's possible for anyone to put their mind to do anything and i'm so sick and tired of people putting other people down oh you don't have the genetics oh you don't have the size oh you don't have the speed oh you don't have the strength oh you don't have enough money oh you're not a popular name screw all that crap You know, if you're mentally, physically, and spiritually passionate about anything that you do ever in life, then, and you have a mindset to where you're willing to die to not only train harder than the best, but not only be better than the best, whoever the best might be in whatever subject, thing, or whatever that you do in life, but to be a once in a lifetime person, live life to the absolute fools, and have this mentality mentality and this spirituality to where nothing can stop you you are unbeatable you go after life being the biggest alpha out there and you just go and dominate every single freaking goal that you ever put your mind to ever plain and simple so sick and tired having these these people have these small weak minds and i don't mean that to disrespect anyone i mean it to where to wake up people you know there's a reason why all these People that you worship, you know, every single NFL player, every single pro athlete, every single pro wrestler, every single celebrity, they didn't have that mindset. It's all the regular average people that have the mindset of, well, I'm just going to try to get by or I'm going to wear someone else's jersey. You know, it's like you're their property. If I'm going to wear anyone's jersey, it's going to be my own And I'm going to represent myself. I'm going to advertise myself. I'm going to promote myself. That's not me being cocky or selfish or or, or someone I deeply care about. But not some guy I've never met in my life and because I think he's a great player and I wear his shirt. That makes me sick to my stomach. But that's another subject another time. But basically, I don't have much really time. They close at 5 and I'm, I'm on the edge here. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to hit some cardio. Uh, the cardio I've been doing. Isn't the typical on the treadmill or Stairmaster. Athlean X. I checked him out on YouTube. Very smart guy. Very popular, supposedly. And basically, it's just a little uh, run through. Just like, you know, the typical to keep it at fat burning to where it's not cardio. And you're, well, he says you're building muscle. If I am or not, it's just, it, it'll beat you down. You do it right and you don't take much rest in between it. 
it does, it it will, you know, it'll break you down, you know, definitely shows uh, that I'm not in the same shape as I was back in, uh, back in high school or junior high, you know, uh, you know, cardio wise. But, um, basically, uh, I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I can run through every single thing, but it's like, uh, you start out doing like, I think it's like burpees into um, jump rope into these weird form of push-ups into uh, kettlebell swings into kettlebell uh, like uh, speeders uh, speeder jumps or skater jumps um, you know it, it's it's stuff like that but it's like constant no rest in between you keep going for like 30 seconds or I do about maybe like 15 reps each. And you keep going. And if you can survive one round, you go for another round. I last time I did two rounds, and I was, you know, felt pretty good. But I'm gonna do that. Get that away. You only last. It's about combined like four or five, six, seven, eight minutes. That's it. No thirty minutes. And I think that's best for right now. As crucial as it is right now. Right now, it's just keeping focus on my diet as strict as possible. You know, right now I'm eating just like I'm eating just a handful of foods you know i only can count probably like five different kinds of foods that i've been eating right now um keeping you know after my workouts though where your body needs the most i up i make sure i get all my car carbs all my everything in after my workout but every meal other than that i'm pretty strict um energy is starting to get kind of depleted because of lack of carbs uh but hey i'm all right with that i'm willing to do any kind of challenges put in front of me um i'm trying to hurry this thing up because i don't want to go in there and be like hey you gotta leave because we're closing so i'd have to drive all the way back to crunch and i don't want to do that you know that's a waste of gas so today's arm day uh greg valentino workout i truly believe his strategy is the best for what i'm doing right now uh basically it's just a ton of sets a ton of reps and no rest. That's as simple as that. And it, you know, you will sweat. You will be beaten down. But you'll have amazing pump. You'll feel a burn like never before. You'll be sore without a shadow of a doubt. My quads have been sore for almost a week. My arms were sore for like four or five days, you know. I mean, it's ridiculous, you know. But it's awesome. It's amazing. I probably will never do this routine ever again. Or at least I take that back. I shouldn't say that. I got a long no. I I take that back. I probably won't do it for a long, long time. But I do recommend people who want to just get a great pump and just throw all the bull crap magazine root workout routines out the window and do something that's real, that actually works with the body, how you build muscle, constant tension keeping that muscle going, keeping the blood, pushing as much blood into your muscles as possible. You know, that's key. That's one of the key things, you know, people don't realize, you know. So if you're willing, to check out Greg Valentin, check out his YouTube. If, you, if you're open-minded and you have, you know, a large variety of what you want to do when you work out, check him out. He'll definitely open your eyes and you're having a, you know, like an epiphany or you're uh, definitely change a lot of things. It's probably what you even think about so uh he's very real and i i, I you know I, he's gotten bad cred and bad rep over the years because of things that he's done but he's real you know he makes up for it he, you know he he owns up to it you know so he's real um that you know at least he sounds real and i'm willing to be i'm willing to accept that he is real um but number one wolf shaman wolf legend the man that is going in this Saturday, November 5th, at the Covington Center, Kentucky. I'm willing to, as soon as I walk through those doors, I will be the winner. As soon as I walk through those doors, I'm simply, right there and then, the absolute best. It's not being cocky. It's being confident. It's being knowing that I'll look at any of all the other competitors and every single person out there is supposedly an alpha or supposedly the alpha guy there. I'm going to look him in the eyes and say, guess what? You're looking at the alpha. You're looking at the true first place and you're looking at the absolute best. And I don't care if you got bigger muscle, you're more defined or whatever. 
you couldn't survive doing one workout that I done. So, you know, I'm going in this knowing that I am the absolute best and I can't lose. I, I'm going in this knowing that there's nobody that can beat me. I got to have that mentality. I have to. And like I said, if I don't get first, I'm not going to be sad because I know I still got first. Because I know, no, it's, if, if everybody, would, let's say this, if every single competitor was put in the same position in the same shoes and done and lived the life that I've lived these past six months preparing for this competition, I'd be first if they did the exact same things as I did, you know? I didn't have a car in the beginning of this whole process. I had to run to the places that I had to go, you know? Run miles to just to get to where I needed to go, you know? I had to, you know, I had to up everything, you know? I had to focus on cardio, you know? I had to, you know, I put all my cardio in the most highest intensity and then go for it for 30 minutes. Yeah, try doing that. Try go the most highest level you can on your cardio machine and do it for 30 minutes, yeah, daily. Try sticking to a diet so strict to where you hate what you eat. You hate everything that you eat, but you're doing it for, you know, a certain goal, you know? I dare you to do that. And if you do do that, then that motivates me to overcome that. You know, we both benefit. So as soon as I walk through those doors and come into Kentucky Center, no matter what happens on the other side of those doors, it doesn't matter if I'm able to compete or not. As soon as I walk through those doors, I'm the alpha. I'm the number one wolf. I am the shaman wolf legend. I'm the once in a lifetime person. I'm the man that lives life to absolute fullest every single millisecond. I am. Better than the best. As soon as I walk through those doors, the man named Cody Lee Wolf Hansen will become first, will win his debut competition, and will do what a lot of people say is impossible. So not only am I going to walk through those doors, as soon as I step foot right through the doors, Boom, spotlights on me. Everybody knows all these so-called alphas out there looking at me because I'm the big bad alpha and I'm the number one guy that you have to beat. Because the the struggle that I've went through and the, the stuff that I had to go through and everything that I had to witness and had to endure, everything that I had to endure, nobody could even compare or contrast or even come close to things that I had to witness and do nobody in this process in this preparation for this competition i just know that for a fact you know i've done things that most people don't even have to do but i do it because i think i have to do it because i put myself to uh, in a position to where it's a must it's a half it's it's like i can't live another second without doing it plain simple it's called obsession with becoming the greatest, plain and simple. If you don't have that, then you're just wasting your life. You're just wasting. And that's just, that's just real, and you can hate me for saying that, but if you're not living to be the best at whatever you do in life or go achieve every single goal you ever dreamed of, then why are you wasting your life? Why are you just going day by day, you know, look in the mirror and like, are you happy? Or Did you do things that you wanted to do, you know? Stop wasting another second in life not doing the things that you want to do and living the life that you want to live. Go out there and live the life that you want to live and do the things that you want to do. So, as soon as I walk through those doors, not only am I the alpha, not only am I first place immediately as I go in there, but, but, win or lose, whatever the reality is, what happens not only my first in my mind not only is it bucket list goal checked off but i would have done something that many people for years and this past this year said that would be impossible for me to do and part of a lot of you are thinking i'm probably talking about a certain someone i'll mention one person just one person i don't know their name but some woman it was at this grocery store. I'm not going to name the grocery store, but it was at this grocery store, right? And this woman said, I told her I was you know, preparing for competition, and I just got off work. 
I was wearing my T-shirt. And she looked at my form. She said, oh, there's no way you can do it. It's impossible for you to, to do a competition in November. I said, why? I said, I look a lot better without a shirt. And she said, I, I, I understand that. But she said, well, when you look at someone's forearms and you look at someone who's preparing for competition, you can see how tight the skin is and how the veins come out. And I'm thinking, and I, every person I've told this to, they laugh their head off and realize how stupid can one person sound. But I didn't look at it that way. It lit a fire inside me like no other. Oh my gosh. That day, I was more obsessed, more passionate, and more f- an absolute drive. An absolute fire was blazed right through me, inside me. My soul and passion was more powerful than ever before for this competition. You know, before I was just preparing. But now, you know, it became an obsession. It became my life. It became everything that I do 24-7. And not just to, for this person, but it's for every freaking hater and person that said that I couldn't do it. Well, what the lady said, and I was like, I just shot, you know, just the person I am, just nodding my hand. I was like, okay, all right, I understand. She said, maybe if you do one, maybe in March and start right now. I'm like... You kidding me? Like, I didn't. I was disrespectful. I was like, okay, appreciate, it, thank you. Left, and I was like thinking, she don't realize that I know my body. I could change my body within a week. I can change my body from going the most ripped to, you know, the most strongest. I can go from the most strongest to the most ripped within a week. You don't believe me? I have proof. I have people that can tell you. I have. Hundreds of people that can tell you this. I can have, you just watch my Instagram, you know, just watch, you know, Cody, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to promote myself. I, I'll do that some other time. I'm just, what I'm trying to get to you, what I'm trying to get you to guys to understand and focus on is, I as soon as I put my mind to something, I'm going to achieve it. No matter what, I'm going to achieve it. Plain and simple. Ain't no is, but, second, or plan B. No, it's plan A, achieve it, and I'm going to achieve it. And if I don't achieve it, I die trying, trying to achieve it. Plain and simple, you know? I will do everything, not 100%, not 110%, but 200 freaking percent. Plain and simple. Number one wolf, Shaman Wolf legend, armed day. Now am I going to prove that freaking woman wrong? I'm going to prove every single hater I ever had and smile back at him. Look at it. Look at it. Pearly rights. You see that pearly whites right there. Look at every single hater and look at them in the eye and say, I love you guys. This is all for you. Because when I win and I bring that trophy back, I want to head right dr- down to that grocery store and look her in the eye and look and say, you said it's impossible. Hmm. Does this look, you know, impossible? Or... Or I don't even say a word, just show her and be like, remember me? Yeah. I'm the guy that you said that what I was going after was impossible for me to do. Again, I just broke all the odds. I just beat all the odds and I just did the impossible again. And I will continue to beat the impossible and do the impossible and beat the odds again and again and again. Plain and simple, because that that's my legacy. That's who I am, part of my legacy. And so ever since then, I've overdrived 24-7 on my, you know, workouts and diet and everything. So right now, Greg Valentino's strategy, arm day. I'm going to go in there, do my uh, quick Athlean X cardio. Hit arms, uh, and then after that, I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna eat, cover a little bit, prepare for tomorrow because tomorrow is a very, 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 very busy day, and possibly could change my uh, life and start a another uh, chapter or another uh, written story in this chapter of my life. Uh, tomorrow is a really huge day, and. Um, so, and try to get a lot of sleep tonight, you know, try to go to bed early 
and um, tomorrow the uh, cardio abs and this you know another daily grind so as we get so much more closer to the competition every time I look in the mirror I keep saying I got this I think the only person that I believe that will defeat me that will beat me that could beat me could ever beat me is me me making a mistake but if I do make that mistake I've learned from the past in the past I'd break down so hard because I made mistakes I learned very easily it's not about if you made a mistake on the day that you need to show it's about how much passion and how much effort and how much of everything that you've done and all your all your effort put into the process to that day because that process is what makes a man that process it makes the character it makes who you are thank you for watching please subscribe hopefully I'm not annoying hopefully you don't hate me if you do hate me there's a smile for you but please subscribe November 5th coming 10 Center in Covington, Kentucky. The day that Cody Lee Wolf Hansen wins first place, wins his debut show, does the impossible, beats all the odds, and once more again, and will continue to do that. November 5th. Bye.